objects that are all about the same size, but differ in their density. Uh, see what kind of crater impacts we get from here now. Uh, we're gonna start with a styrofoam ball. I suspect that we actually have a pretty strong Santa Ana condition today, and uh, I suspect this thing's gonna get blown, so I'm gonna move a little upwind here. Um, the second thing we have is a uh, squash ball, I think, or something like that, maybe a racquetball ball, I don't know. Um, we have a pine cone that we have your uh, garden variety rock we used from the uh, previous experience. All right, let's get to cracking. Slow-mo on. On. Eight feet, styrofoam ball. There we go. All right, drop number two. Um, managed to get a low in the wind. Um, drop number two, pink ball. Rolling. On. One, two, three. kind of cool. Drop number three, pine cone. On. That looked awesome. And drop number four. On. Rock. That is a wrap. We'll compare results and uh, yeah, stop rolling. Yep. Woo wee! That was sure fun. All right. Um, we're now going to take a look, see what we can uncover here. Um, first thought we're going to look at is the styrofoam ball here. <coughs> uh, styrofoam ball gave us. Two inches, whoo Now we're gonna check out the uh, big bouncy ball here. Big bouncy ball gave us um, three and three quarter inches. Woo-wee! Pine cone. Pine cone, these are all about the same size. This is uh, three and a half inches. All righty. Then finally, uh, rock. Let's get a little uh, tape measure here. All righty. Uh, this one's a little bigger. Rock is should be a little bigger, I would think, if uh, we understand kinetic energy. Four and a half inches. All righty. There's our results when we just change the density but keep things, oh, roughly the same size. All right, for experiment three, we're gonna try some uh, objects from different heights. Um, I'm thinking I really like the way that rock went dropping, so we're gonna, we're gonna use the rock for this, and we're gonna try it just from different heights up above the ground and sort of compare the crater size versus impactor height, because uh, I think this guy especially gets a lot of drag when it goes through the atmosphere. It probably hits terminal velocity fairly quickly, but uh, we can uh, test that in the lab and test that with uh, theoretically um, when we get back to the office, so. All right, that should be a lot of fun. Let's get rocking. 